The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. So let us see, we have a little bit more complex of, of an equation involving fractions. So let me rewrite this real quick so I can point out uh, what you should recognize to know uh, what to do with this. We need to figure out what we can't have for x. In this case, x could not be 3 or negative 3, because that would make any of those denominators 0, and that's what we can't have. Now, though, this has a denominator of x squared minus 9. This has a denominator of x squared minus 9. If this one also had a denominator of x squared minus 9, we could get rid of all of them by just multiplying the equation by that. So we can do that by multiplying this fraction at the end by x minus 3 over x minus 3, because x plus 3 times x minus 3 is x squared minus 9. So now we would have 2x over x squared minus 9 equals 1 over x squared minus 9 minus so here we have 4 times x minus 3. Again, this times this x plus 3 times x minus 3 is x squared minus 9. Since we already said, well, we know x can't be 3 or negative 3, we could just multiply the whole equation, you could think of it, by x squared minus 9. And by doing that, we're going to cancel out all of these denominators, and this is going to be a much simpler problem. So we're just going to have 2x equals 1 minus, and now let's distribute that 4. So we have minus 4x plus 12. Remember to distribute this negative sign to both of those. So now we just need to combine like terms and solve here. We add the 4x over, we get 6x, 1 and 12 is 13. So x is equal to 13 over 6. That was not one of our values that we couldn't have, so that's what works, and that's our answer. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu.